Well, we actually, we bring angels into our deals. So we don't think of this as an either or thing. In fact, we often will push founders to make room for angels and just take a little more capital. It's okay. Just take a little more capital now. And if I need to adjust, I'll adjust. That's okay. Like we can have that conversation, but it's good to take a little bit of room because you can get access to networks that can help you get customer introductions, that can be prospective customer introductions, that can help you find engineers or designers that can actually lean in and do work, help you actually do some of this work, help you think through go-to-market, help you think through design work, et cetera. And so it's actually, I think, an important tool that founders should use to engage angels because no matter what, even if you pick the perfect venture firm for the problem space you're in, their network is still smaller than a network that can be built with them plus a couple of the right angels that are in that same problem space, right? So it's just, it's just good. And that connectivity, you know, helps in just a bunch of different dimensions. And they write, you know, way smaller checks, right? Angels aren't going to be leading $2 million seeds. They're going to be putting, you know, well, it depends obviously on the people, but, you know, between 25 and 100, you know, 500 grand in this stuff. 